Picture a squadron of B-24 Liberator bombers, engines screaming, propellers cutting through the air. It's August 1st, 1943, and these brave airmen are about to embark on Operation Tidal Wave, a mission that will test the limits of their courage and skill. But what was at stake was not just a single mission. Operation Tidal Wave was a daring attempt to cripple the lifeblood of Nazi Germany's war machine, a mission that would strike at the very heart of the Axis war effort. Oil played a crucial role in World War II, as it was the lifeblood of the military machine. Without oil, tanks, planes, and ships could not operate, and the war effort would grind to a halt. Ploiesti, a city in Romania, was a vital target for the Allies because it was home to several oil refineries that produced a significant portion of Nazi Germany's oil. The operation's goal was to cripple Germany's oil production by destroying these. The planning phase of the mission was meticulous, with American airmen carefully selecting the aircraft en route for the raid. The defenses at Ploiesti were formidable, with anti-aircraft guns, fighter planes, and searchlights protecting the oil refineries. The bombers had to fly at low altitude to avoid radar detection, which made them vulnerable to ground fire. The B-24 Liberator bomber was chosen for its long-range and heavy bomb load. The American military went to great lengths to keep the operation covert. The crews were sworn to secrecy, and the mission was given the code name Tidal Wave to prevent the Germans from discovering its true purpose. Several squadrons were involved, including the 44th, 93rd, and 389th Bombardment Groups, totaling 178 B-24 bombers. Notable commanders and crew members included Colonel Keith K. Compton, who led the mission, and Lieutenant Colonel Addison E. Baker. As the bombers took off and headed towards Ploiesti, the tension was palpable. The bombers encountered intense anti-aircraft fire and enemy fighters as they approached Ploiesti. The skies were filled with smoke and fire, and the sound of explosions was deafening. The bombers pressed on, and those who made it started dropping their bombs on the oil refineries below. They dropped over 1,700 tons of bombs, but if they successfully hit their targets was not yet known. The heavy losses endured by the American bomber crews were significant. Of the 178 B-24 bombers that took part in the raid, 53 were lost, and over 500 airmen were killed or captured. Including the commander, Lieutenant Colonel Addison Baker, his plane was shot down crashing into a mountain and killing everyone on board. But their sacrifice was not in vain the impact of the raid on the Ploiesti refineries was significant. The bombing destroyed much of the refinery's infrastructure, including storage tanks, pipelines, and processing facilities. The damage was so severe that it took months for the refineries to recover fully. The raid also had a significant impact on Nazi Germany's war effort, as it severely disrupted their fuel supply. The consequences of the raid were felt throughout the war, and it was a significant blow to the German war machine. And there you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.